Uh, you just got to understand the concepts that they do, uh, you know, personnel, formations, and situations, and then be able to go from there. There's been a lot of talk, obviously, about the dominance in the Wisconsin game. It'd be kind of, it'd be impossible to go throw a 59 nothing pretty much against Alabama. I don't know if you guys look at it that way, or what's the kind of the line you draw with taking things out of that and knowing the task that you'll have ahead. Uh, no, we're facing a good team, but keep the momentum going. Uh, go in there with the same preparation, the same intensity, and the same leadership. Uh, and you'll have a shot in the game. Uh, we know they're going to do some things differently. Uh, they're not going to be as one-dimensional, so we'll have to be able to defend that way. But obviously, if we have the same leadership, like I said, um, preparation is always key for us. We'll be able to put ourselves in a situation to be successful. As you guys have like thought back on that game like two weeks down the line, is there something like big that sticks out? Like this, this is why we were able to to bring it together and give that kind of performance? Uh, the biggest thing was probably leadership and fundamentals. Um, you know, it wasn't a perfect game and, you know, looked a lot better uh, the first time watching it. As you go through, you see some of the mistakes we made. But the thing that uh, made the game really good for us was the fact that we were fundamentally sound on the defensive side of the ball. So we we're able to recover from some of the mistakes we made. Joshua, you waited all year. It looked like after Virginia Tech, it wasn't realistic. To get to this point, you get a shot at Alabama. What's the feeling on this team about about this shot? Uh, you know, we're just we're really excited, and we don't want to let this one go. So uh, we want to give them our best shot, and we're going to prepare really hard. Uh, we know that we're going to get their best shot too, so it's going to be a tough game. But uh, you know, with all this extra time during ball practice, we really want to make sure that we do everything to put ourselves in a good situation. Have you studied them enough to know how you stack up against them? Um, a little bit. I mean, there's still time, but. Uh, we know they've got pretty good personnel, um, you know, good scheme, but we can also uh, find some things, be creative, uh, you know, to be able to defend them. Uh, we know that their personnel is good, but we think we have really good personnel too. So um, when games are even like that, you got to find an edge. Uh, you know, you got to play really good special teams, or you, you got to be able to just come together fundamentally. Joshua, were you studying during your time off when you're at home, or will you just spend time at home? Talk to me about being home with your family. That is to you. Uh, you know, just any chance I get. We've had some time off, and you know, with school being over, we have a little bit of extra time outside of this. So, uh, you know, any chance I get, I go and visit my people. Um, you know, see my little brother. <laughs> That's always fun. He's on campus, but he's so hard to get a hold of. We call him the mayor because he was the same way in high school. Everybody knows him. Then he gets down here, and he knows a million more people than me. Uh, so I can never get a hold of him. The same with my older brother. He's busy and uh, he's got a lot of things that he does. But uh, you know, I see mom and dad every chance I get, and I love doing it. You're the black sheep of the family. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How do you push all the distractions out of the way? Four and a half days at home. You have New Year's Eve, New Year's Day in New Orleans. Like, how does that? Uh, our coaches do a great job of preparing us, and uh, you know, throughout the season, there are a million distractions and a million things going on. And so uh, you got to find a way when you get here to be able to block everything out. And then as you go home, you got to understand uh, the importance of the situation. You got to understand what's at stake. So, uh, you know, you, you might get back with some of your high school friends and your boys are running, doing whatever they're doing. And you got to say, uh, you know, that's not for me. I can't do that. Or, uh, you know, maybe it's someone, hey, let's go to a movie and it's 11 o'clock at night. You're like, I got to get my rest. I got to be fresh and prepared. So. Uh, just having the self-control, uh, knowing the situation and what's at stake will, uh, will keep guys on the track.